Hi, my name is Adam Robles, and there will never be racial reconciliation, so we should stop trying. Now, I realize that you might find that very shocking, and it is a little bit of a clickbaity title, but it's actually real, and it's not just semantics, because here's the thing. This is something that, <clears throat> excuse me, Daryl Harrison, um, I highly recommend his podcast, The Just Thinking Podcast. Look it up, enjoy it, watch it you know, binge, binge, listen to it. It is so good. But Daryl Harrison says this, he says, look, races cannot reconcile. Races cannot reconcile. People reconcile. Now you might think, oh, that's just semantics. It's not semantics. It's important because here's the thing. We've been told that races have some sort of substance to them. And so white people need to be reconciled to black people because white people perpetrated all these evils against black people and that is not how it went down specific people perpetrated things against other specific people races cannot do anything they don't have the, the a race doesn't have the image of god right a, a race as a whole doesn't have any agency people have agency people bear the image of god and so here's the thing despite what culture tells you if you are white and you've not done anything to me then you do not have to be reconciled to me, right? So if you're white and you have not wronged me as a non-white, then there's nothing between us. We don't have to be reconciled. We're just, we're good as it is, right? So there's no white guilt. That's just a collective white guilt that even if you haven't done anything, you still have this white guilt. That is a lie. And so that's why there will never be racial reconciliation. We should stop trying because that is the wrong goal. People need to be reconciled. So if you are a racist and you have done things to black people or Hispanic people or whatever, then you do need to be reconciled to those people. But your race is not responsible for the things that you do. So black people out there, you think white people owe you something, they owe you nothing unless they do, unless there is a something that they actually did specifically to you that there needs to be restitution made. But they don't owe you anything for something that their ancestors did to your ancestors, not even to you. This idea of racial reconciliation is a lie. It will It's a never-ending cycle because there will always be someone from some race doing something to another race. And if you start to say that we have a collective guilt now because this one person did this, other, this thing to this other person, then that's a never-ending cycle for this nonsense. It's, it's, it's like Sisyphus. You're just rolling the, hill, the, 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 the rock up the hill just so it can roll back down again for eternity. And that's just an, a way for never-ending strife, never-ending conflict, never-ending oppression. That's, to, that's the recipe for that. That's not the gospel, man. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says nothing about racial reconciliation, but it does talk about reconciliation between people. And so again, I recommend this podcast, the Just Thinking Podcast. This is where I got this it is so true. These two brothers, it's two guys. It's this guy Virgil. Uh, he's a pastor. And then this guy Daryl, who is amazing. I don't think he's a pastor, but I, I think he's been to seminary or he's done some kind of training. Anyway, um, great stuff, man. These two brothers, if you ever watch this, thank you for the work that you do. Thank you for those videos. I will link to, to it in the, in the description of this video. I want these brothers to blow up and to be... Um, to be heard everywhere because they're on point so often. They've got some funny stuff. They've got some good stuff, entertaining stuff, but all of it is helpful. So God bless you. I hope this was helpful.